All right, so today we're looking at this older IntelliFlow pump, which has the old style power comes in over here. And the problem is the screen has gone out, as they often do, and it makes it hard to change the settings or adjust the time. In fact, that's what happened here. There was a power outage, lost its time. Service guy can't uh, change it. They want to replace the screen. You hate to tell people they need a new pump or even a new drive because it's really just the screen. Pintair does make a screen replacement. Uh, but unfortunately for this older model, it's not a direct replacement. If it were the newer, not the new, new, but the newer version of this IntelliFlow, they made the drives with the four screws here and the whole top just lifts off which makes this about a five minute fix and this would just drop on but this one is not made like that this one is a little bit different one problem we have initially is just getting this top off there are four of these screws on the edge and it's like a Torx bit with the thing in the middle that prevents you from just sticking a normal bit in there so what I've done when I gotta get these off is take my sawzall with a decent metal blade on there and I'm basically gonna put it on here like this and hold it steady and just cut a line across it so I can unscrew it with a flathead screwdriver So basically, I just cut it across right there, made a little slit. Then I'm going to take a beefy flathead, stick it in the cut I just made, and spin it out. Get it loosened, and I am just going to go ahead and pull that out. Set it aside because I think I am going to have to reuse it. I'm going to do the same thing for these other three screws. I got those three loosened. Take that off. Set it aside. And now my top piece will lift up and is semi accessible. Okay, but what you'll notice, unfortunately, this piece is different. Screws are in different spots, so I still can't just drop this on like I would like to. There's a little more work involved, but not much. I'm going to keep this cable connected here, and I'm going to unplug it from the back of my display screen. So essentially what we're going to do is keep this top, take this screen off of this top and just put the little unit about the size of a cell phone with the screen in here. So I'm just going to take a little screwdriver, take out these two little screws that hold my, I don't know, serial cable connection in, whatever you call that. Once I get these two screws loosened, this will just pop out and there we have that now I'm just gonna take a Phillips screwdriver or drill bit and remove these four screws which is basically the bracket that holds the screen piece into place here I've got these four little short squatty screws removed these are now loose I have a piece that slides in here I'm going to push this down, and then it just lifts out, and it's got this little bracket that connects, you slide it up, and this one will also pop out of there, just lifts out, put them with my screws, and that, my screen is free and should come away from the housing, and then I'm left with 
adjust the screen and the controller backing. Like I said, it's about the size of a cell phone. On this one, you have the three screws that, on this one, were three long Phillips screws that held the drive to the motor. These three are shorter and they are some small Torx screws. So we're going to take our little Torx bit and take these three screws out. Those three screws are out. This just lifts off now. Put that aside. I have disconnected already. This was plugged in. I just undid the two screws and pulled out this connector because we don't need it. We're going to use the old one over here. I'm going to put that aside. Now we're pretty much loose and we just got to peel this off and lift it out. some glue around the outer edges and that's okay so we got our new screen so I'm looking at the new one and the old one and there is still a little bit difference <laughs> the uh, buttons are mostly the same but a couple buttons actually three buttons have changed positions and the old one the enter button is in the middle now it's not called enter it's called save and it's in the top right top right used to be escape or back but now it's moved over here and this middle one here select select was here on the old one and really I don't care where they are but if I just were to replace this one on the old one if I hit this middle button, it's not select like it says. It's still enter like the old one was. And it confuses the hell out of people. So I found other that rather than as well. It's unfortunate because this one looks a little nicer and cleaner. But overall it's better because this one is actually labeled properly. Okay, so the two faces don't look quite the same. I could peel this off and peel this off and swap them. But I think this actually comes apart. So what it is, is there's these little tabs here. I'm going to take my little flathead here and push these tabs in and slowly peel it back with my fingernails first couple are kind of tricky but once you get it started you can see it just kind of starts popping apart and then it's kind of easy to get them separated take your time work your way around it and eventually this part just pops off exposing the screen underneath and ultimately this is what we are now going to replace with the back side of this so now I'm going to take my little screwdriver again and carefully pry this off and separate the front from the back. It's the easiest way to do it. Slip your little screwdriver right here. You're just going to kind of pry them, pry them off like that. You see them starting to come. Eventually, this one pops off. And we got our nice fancy new screen. All right, so I'm gonna take the, I guess, what front faceplate from the old one, and now I'm just gonna snap it on here to the new one. Should click right together. Okay, and now we're good. Set that aside. Got my little gasket thing. Go ahead and slip back around here. So now I'm going to take our new modded display, slip it back here in the cover, and go ahead and flip this over. And take my two brackets, or one of my two brackets, slip it on like that. 
here. Pull them down into position. Like that. Kind of snaps in place. Do the same thing with this one. squatty screws put them back here to secure those brackets these screws don't actually even go in anything they just go in here and push down which lifts this up and kind of puts a tension on so it's just snug and secure in place and we're gonna bring it back to the rest of the drive we'll put our little cable plug in here only goes one way once we got it plugged in we'll take our little screwdriver and just tighten these two screws got that tightened in place it's nice and snug we're gonna flip them back over put them on into position and then we're gonna put our three long screws in take my old door cover thing but unfortunately again it has to be the old one i would like to use the new one because it you know usably looks better but it's made different so it won't sit on there it's got these knobs and i can't even use just the door because the hinges are different so i'm just going to use this one i'm going to set it back on there our three long screws in to secure that back to the drive got that on there now we're going to take these four screws we cut at the start and just put them back in the corners all right we got it all put back together i'm going to flip on the power and the breaker back on see what we got oh way better you can see the screen A lot cheaper than replacing the drive because those are not cheap and uh, yeah hopefully this pump will run for quite a while longer